leverage, if I can borrow at 4% or 8% or whatever the, the value is, and then start leveraging on top of that, that was kind of the first little impetus of just buying a normal traditional rental. And then you realize you can only put 20% down so many times before you just run out of money. And so the idea is, oh, do I get more creative on the deal? Or do I need to look at this a little bit differently on how I'm leveraging the capital? And so the very first capital raise that we did was for a promissory note unsecured on some individual property that we were doing through friends and family, which has evolved into the number one, like I didn't know what I was doing to start with, um, not having known about this podcast and others to, you know, going through various different SEC filings to now, you know, putting together a, a real estate fund kind of on the back end three or four years later and doing various flips, you know, mortgages, um, investment. And, and I've done personal investments myself where I've lent money.